I am Michael McSurley, and I'm the thriftiest cheapskate in Tennessee. Wow, can you guys believe this guy? He's he's using hamsters as slaves. Oh my gosh, bro. And did you see the hamster? That hamster really said, bro, get your own Bruh. dang energy. Yo, what is up, everybody? Welcome back to another video. It is your boy, Papa Milk, and uh, today, guys, we are going to be watching a pretty extreme cheapskate. Uh, obviously, you could tell he uses hamsters as slaves, FBI open up. Anyways, so, um, yeah, I, I really hope you enjoy this video, and uh, yeah, let's get straight into this. I have made my own little coffee device out of an old sock a cup, and a twisty tie. So I go over to my water, which I've boiled in a pan that's multi-purpose, and I pour it into the coffee grounds through the sock, and the sock becomes the filter. And then I can serve. I save, you know, dollars. Is it even coffee at that point? Um, like, like all he did was put some beans in there and just poured some hot water on it. Like, is it even really coffee at that point? Like. Huh? What? And, and notice how he uses a, a Starbucks cup, like, just, just go buy a coffee mug. It's really not that hard. But then again, I mean, he is using, I'm guessing, a dirty sock to make his coffee. You can pay anywhere from 20 to $50 for shelving. So I'm going to save that using milk crates, which are a few dollars a piece, and uh, cable ties, which are practically nothing. This looks cheesy. However, version 1.0, version 2.0 is gonna look like a gym. You know, to be honest, I can't even bash this guy for doing this. I mean, if you think about it, I mean, he's he's not wrong. Um, tw $20 to $50 on shelves, I mean, he, he's, he's pretty correct on that, and he's being smart just using some crates. Now, obviously, I don't, I don't think it looks the best, um, but it, but it also doesn't look I mean, too bad as long as it's functional, I guess. It's like, it's like my laptop, like it's just, it, it doesn't look very good, but it's functional. I mean, it, it, it does what it needs to do. And, you know, honestly, I can't, I can't even bash him for that. I mean, he's make, he's, he's saving a lot of money on not buying things that just look pretty, you know, and some shelves, I mean, some, some of them don't, don't do the best but you know honestly i can't even bash them i have actually developed this fishing line and old strips of t-shirts to clean my straws so i load up four at a time and it takes a minute to actually get it in here so that's one and they're clean trust me bro when i say this uh and you're just gonna you you're you're just gonna have to listen to me on this. Uh, that is not clean. I know. You, I know for a fact to get all the bacteria out, bro. You need. You, you need soap. Um, you know, the past couple of months, I actually have learned this because. Yeah, I'm still in kindergarten, guys. Uh, it's it's very unfortunate, and you know, I just learned this like yesterday. I was you know learning how to count from one to one hundred. Uh, in like uh, in like you know a hundred seconds because look at me I'm so smart that's exactly that like that's like I mean it should only be a hundred seconds anyways I'm getting a little bit off topic but anyways soap is supposed to destroy all the fats on the bacterias and like nasty stuff like that not just cleaning it with a freaking shoelace or like a t-shirt strip I think I think that's what he said it was I don't know if you guys caught that but uh, yeah I mean what <laughs> just use just use some soap and water bro even if it's your friggin rain water which we'll get on to here in a second but just just clean it out with some water and maybe a bit of dish dawn dish soap soap because I mean it just it just works a lot better you know uh, because like I said, you know, over here in kindergarten, at least we know how to wash our hands, especially with everything going on. A way I save my water bill is I actually save my water after my showers. 
So I collect the water in the tub, get a bucket, and uh, actually scoop it out, take it to where I need to use it, uh, other places in the house, including you know washing the dishes once a week, including doing the laundry once a month, and I can even uh, use that water and put it in the toilet to flush. You know, last video, um, I thought it was pretty nasty to feed cat food to cats, but this guy's feeding the water that runs right between his two butt cheeks Bruh. to other people by washing his dishes with them. Just think about that. You go to your friend's house and you're like, oh yeah, I need some food, bro. And, uh, yeah, hit me up with some of that food. And, uh, they just, they, they fix your food, right? Probably some turkey sandwich with a little bit of cranberry sauce on it because you, mmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Anyways. And, and you're eating and you're like, mmm, this is a pretty good turkey sandwich. Um, yeah, it's perfect, actually. And, uh. You look over and you see him washing his dishes with a yellow bucket full of water. And you're like, yo, bro, what are you doing, man? And he responds, just washing my dishes. Well, where'd you get that water, bro? <laughs> my bathtub, where I take showers and I save the water that runs right off my butt cheeks. Uh, <laughs> I mean, I mean, there's, you, uh, that is that is disgusting. Ugh. That is, ugh, ugh. I, I don't even want to think about that, dude. Like, I'm not even joking. It just runs off of his body. like. And not to mention the soap, too. I, I mean, I guess that might help a little bit, but it's already used soap. I mean, you're not really going to get very far with that. Well, shit. I think it's kind of gross. It's like taking a bath and washing your dishes in the bathtub with you. Bro, low-key, this boomer knows exactly what's up. I mean, it, he really is not wrong. It's, it's, it's basically like taking a bath and, or sorry, not taking a bath, sorry. It's, it, he, he is correct. It's like taking a bath while you're washing your dis dishes in the same bath water. I mean, can you really get any worse than that? I mean, I guess if you take the toilet water from the toilet bowl, maybe it can get worse. But, I mean, still, I mean, who doesn't, who doesn't, take a big old fat deuce right in, in the in the shower while they're taking a bath because i know i do i don't know about you guys but I've, I've i've just always had a fascination with taking a big fat deuce in my shower you know and i wouldn't be surprised if this guy did that too you know that that's not what we consider to be hygienic by any stretch of the imagination stretch that imagination farther than i stretch my black licorice twizzlers i mean i don't even like i don't even know like what to say dude i mean that really is nasty you're reusing like i get it you put it in your toilet and you and you use the bathroom and you flush it right no i i completely understand that i <sighs> I just, I just don't know. I mean, I, I get it if you're reusing the water to wash yourself, but I wouldn't, I wouldn't just do that. You might as well just go wash your dishes in the middle of a freaking muddy creek in the middle of Chernobyl, you know? I mean, yeah, I mean, just, ugh, that's just disgusting. Anyways, guys, that's gonna do it for today's video. I hope you really enjoyed this video because, honestly... I mean, it wasn't that bad. Like, he actually wasn't too bad of a cheapskate. Not, not like, not like last time. Last time, which, by the way, if you want to uh, check out that video, make sure to do it. And uh, yeah, I, I really hope you guys enjoyed this. I, I have a really bad tendency of saying that a little bit too much. And uh, if you don't like and subscribe right now, I'm going to force. Cure your thirst with his bath water. So yeah, guys, just make sure to like and subscribe. Really appreciate it. Uh, I really appreciate everyone watching this video. And uh, yeah, have a wonderful non-bath water dishes washed day. And uh, bye.